Hey you fiends and collectors, this is me Daniel Eastman Thousand back again with another Star Wars The Black Series figure review. Today we're going to be having a look at an exclusive that came from last year and was available at numerous conventions until then ultimately online retailers got their hands on it and you can get this figure still from a couple of retailers at least in terms of the UK for the hefty price that I paid for it to be quite honest with you, £40 um, which for me personally I've seen a lot of exclusives go for much more than that so I could kind of take that pill somewhat easily but if you do want this figure and I mean just the figure itself you can get it in the standard edition of the black series because Hasbro do have a lovely tendency of doing like a, a pre-release of certain figures at comic cons just with exclusive little accessories and packaging artwork but they do ultimately release the figure later on and we have got that figure now there are some very big differences between the two we will get into that in the review because it is a little bit confusing the main one as you can see is obviously the packaging which is this big grandiose style book type packaging and there is a reason for that this is to somewhat commemorate marvel's return to do in Star Wars comics. This is the cover art that they had for the first issue they did. And I'm sure I've got this somewhere buried, hopefully safely, because I'd hate to imagine how much that comic's probably going for online right now. <laughs> and I do know for a fact that it was one of the best selling comic books for that year, and I think it had numerous reprints as well. So yeah, that's what this box artwork and the figure is kind of like dedicated to. Now, the major differences between this one and the standard version is this one comes with a book ton of accessories. However, it is missing one accessory that the standard version comes with. But this is really down to the fact of the two representations. This is a representation of the comic book. The other one, which is effectively the same figure, is more of a representation of the final scene in A New Hope where Luke gets his medallion. The medallion does come with that figure, but it does not come with this one, which has left a lot of fans a little bit disappointed. So if you did want the medallion, you would kind of have to buy that other figure as well, which is somewhat annoying. But with that being said, focusing on this figure really, he is pretty damn impressive. And as you can see, I've not taken it out of the box just because I don't really want to unpackage it, just because I really love the box art and what it really commemorates. Of course, you've got the figure itself, which is Luke there. The attention to detail, as always to be expected with Hasbro, is up there. That face sculpt is fantastic. Um, he's got his yellow jacket on, which is seen at the end of A New Hope. Um, he does have a holster, which works as well. So you can put his blaster that he comes with into that. Now, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see these accessories, but he does come with quite a few with this exclusive so he comes with the little probe droid which comes on this stand so it looks as if it's hovering it comes with a blast effect which you can attach i believe to the lightsaber to make it look as if he's deflecting the blaster bolt from that the lightsaber blade is actually removable from the hilt as you've come to expect he also comes with the blaster of course which like i said does fit into his holster the helmet which has the blast shield down, which is a very, very cool touch. And you can put that on Luke's head. Now, the coolest detail for me, and this kind of stems into the later issues of this comic book series. I believe it's issue six. <laughs> Nerd time. Luke goes back to Tatooine to Obi-Wan's old homestead. And while he's there, he stumbles upon Obi-Wan's journal and uh, you do get that with this set. So you get his journal and the little case that it's inside, and the Urabesh does read, you know, Obi-Wan's journal if you did translate it, which is absolutely awesome. So during this time while Luke's at Obi-Wan's old homestead, he encounters and is blinded by Boba Fett. If you haven't read issue six of Star Wars, it's pretty damn awesome. That's all the accessories that this figure comes with. Like I said, the standard version doesn't come with most of these it only really comes with the medallion the blaster and i think although i could be wrong the lightsaber as well and just before i forget in terms of articulation luke has a ball jointed head ball joint in the neck as well ball jointed shoulders ball jointed elbows ball jointed wrists ball jointed torso ball jointed hips swivel at the thigh double hinged knees ball jointed ankles with a rocker joint so 
plenty of articulation to get this figure into plenty of poses. That is if you intend to open it up. Yeah, it really does depend on your taste, how much you're willing to spend, and which version ultimately you really like. But for me, this addition to my collection was a nice little memorial piece to Marvel's return to doing Star Wars comics. And I think the packaging, the presentation, the figure itself, you know, it's kind of done in a Death Star wall kind of art deco way, which is really, really sweet to see. Um, I think it's just a really, really lovely addition. It's not a must for collectors unless you have read the comic. So that's really it in terms of this review. I just thought I'd give you a little look at it just because it is a nice piece that I did fairly recently pick up. So yeah, let me know what you think. Have you picked this up yourself? Have you opted for the other version of it? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you very much for watching. This is me, Daniel Eastman Thousand, signing out.